is a special welcome to those of you who may be joining us for the first time today. And so my name is Bobby, and I'm passionate and totally in love with sharing this amazing gift um, of yoga with you. And so just I it's a windy day here on the Sunshine Coast, and I thought that I might use my wind harp at some point as a, a way, a gentle way to help minimize pain. But um, I don't have a lot of control over Mother Nature, so we'll see. When the wind blows through the harp, it makes these amazing, amazing healing sounds. So I'll just set it aside for now. As always, an invitation to begin your yoga practice by finding a comfortable sitting position. It is challenging for our nervous system to calm down if we're uncomfortable in our bodies. <laughs> And then maybe just rolling your shoulders up, back and down a few times. And then an invitation to place your hands in prayer pose if this is easy for you. So a gentle reminder that we never forfeit balance to come into a pose or movement. So if this placement of your hands does not feel comfortable, choose another lovely placement for your hands. And now an invitation to lift your heart to your hands, bow your head to your heart, and to take a moment to allow yourself to consciously enter into the present. Setting aside whatever was going on for you before the class for the duration, knowing that we can come back to that after class. Release your arms down by your side, turn your palms face up, turn your palms face down, rolling your thumbs down towards the earth, and maybe noticing which feels better for you. And then as you're ready, resting your hands on your thighs, palm up or down as desired. An invitation to soften your gaze. Soften your belly, the area between your navel and cubicle. Allow the weight of your hands to give you a sensation of grounding down through your legs, giving you a sensation of connecting with Mother Earth. Lengthen up through your spine. Roll your shoulders up, back and down just a few times. Lift up through the crown of your head. And from here, we'll transition into mindful movement. So these days, prefer to call it gentle movement. So if you're not able to physically do the movement today, an invitation to visualize the movement. So imagination is part. So if you're ready, reach your arm up to the sky. Slowly float your arm again. So gentle movement, reaching up to the sky. And slowly float your arm again. So there's my chair back a little. And so this time, let's explore adding a gentle breath to the movement on inhale, reaching up full length of your 
On exhale, float your arm down the full length of your Same side, last time. It's as if on our inhale, there's a beginning, a middle, and an end point. On exhale, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Release both arms down by your side. Rest your hands on your thighs or your knees. And we'll begin the movement on the other side. And so reach your arm up to the sky. So it might be that you're able to reach your arm up a little higher than mine, maybe lower. So it's not one size fits all. Gentle movement, reaching up to the sky. Slowly float your arm. Adding a gentle breath to the movement on inhale, reaching up full length of your inhale. On exhale, float your arm down the full length of your exhale. It's as if on our inhale, there's a beginning, a middle, and an end point. On exhale, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Release both arms down by your side. And this time, let's explore reaching both arms up to the sky. So it's not about forcing one arm to do what the other is doing. We just want them talking to each other. Take a look between your palms if it doesn't create tension in your neck. And then return your gaze on the horizon. Hold your fingers in. Press into the palms of your hands. There's a sensitive voice on your hands. Maybe placing your hands on the back of your head. And together, I'm pardon me, I'm gonna place my hands on the back of my head today. And so whatever your placement of your hands are today, together we can shout out, I am. I can. And I will. And with a sigh of relief, float your arms down by your side. Roll your shoulders up, back and down just a few times. Shake out. And so at this time, I'd like to invite you to walk your hips forward in the chair. Come forward about two thirds of the way if that is possible for you. And so if you're needing the back of the chair for support today, honor that. So yoga meets us exactly where we are. And with a soft belly, quiet breath. From here, we'll transition into a gentle warm up for neck and shoulders. So let's begin with simple neck rolls. See if you can resist the temptation or urge to move your head to its full range of motion. Our Buddha belly is soft, breath is quiet. When you're ready, Simple neck rotations in the opposite direction. See if you can create a little half smile, like a little Buddha smile. When we smile, it releases saliva. And then move your head up and down as if nodding yes. On inhale, look up, careful not to throw your head back, and then drop your chin towards your chest. Inhale, look up, drop your chin towards your chest. Inhale, 
When you're ready, turn your gaze looking past your shoulder. Pause. And then visualize moving your chin up and down slightly. Move your head back through the center, turning your gaze, looking over your opposite shoulder. Again, visualize. Imagine that you're moving your chin up and down slightly. When you're ready, bring your head back through the center. And then drop your ear towards your shoulder. Release your opposite arm down by your side if you'd like, and then pressing. So pushing through the palm of your hand, reach your arm up to the sky. And slowly float your arm down, bring your head back center, palm face up at the heart. So three more times, same side. Drop your ear towards your shoulder. So this might be your movement today. Visualizing the arm movements if you'd like. Or if you'd like, add the arm movement, pardon me, pushing through the palm of your hand. Reach your arm up to the sky. Slowly float your arm down. Head comes back center, palm face up or down as desired at the heart. So two more times in your own time and rhythm. Of course, I'm here for visual if you need it. Sometimes it can be interesting to practice these gentle movements with our eyes closed. We'll finish up the movement that you're on. Bring me back at center. Release both arms down by your side. Rest your hands on your thighs. And take a moment and we'll begin the practice on the other side. So I'm just going to change my screen so that it's in gallery view. Hopefully, see a few of you. Oh, awesome. Huh. So other side. <laughs> so I think smiles are contagious. We're waving to each other, our friends, seen and unseen. So begin again, fin again. Other side, drop your ear towards your shoulder. Release your opposite arm down by your side, pushing through the palm of your hand, reach your arm up to the sky. Avoid collapsing forward. Slowly come out of the movement on the side, head comes back center, palm face up at the heart center. Three more times, drop your ear towards your shoulder, release your opposite arm by your side, pushing through the palm of your hand, reach your arm up to the sky. Slowly float your arm down, head comes back center, palm face up at the heart. So an invitation to practice the movement two more times in your own time and rhythm. And as always, I'm here for visual if you need a one. So my hope for you is that you develop your own home practice. That you become your own yoga teacher. Finish up the movement that you're on if you haven't already. 
Let your Buddha belly soften. Breath is quiet. Release your arms by your side and take a rest. Let's go see if my wind harp will work now. I'm new to it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll have to practice later today. I'm <laughs> down at the beach or something. Sorry. All right. So wiggly fidgets. little bum dance. So if anything I share with you does not feel comfortable, if it doesn't feel right, skip it and come back to your breathing. So if we're focused on our breath, we are practicing yoga. And so at any point, if you feel dizziness, nausea, if you please come out of the movement of the pose. And so maybe it's just not the pose today. Right? Good days and better days. If you need to leave the space, the class for whatever reason, take care of yourself, go for it. There are recordings, thankfully, with Connector that we can come back to and watch. And so maybe shifting your weight from side to side, pull the buttock flesh away from your sit bones. You do a little bum dance. Our feet are planted evenly on our footrests or on the floor, earth, if you like. Our spine is long, front body is soft. And I'd like to invite you to push down through one foot and then push down through the other foot. So it might be an energetic pressing down. Notice, can you feel one foot more than the other? Shoulders up, back and down, just a few parts. Tuck your chin in slightly to release the back of your neck. So if it's easy for you, bring two fingers to your chin. And you might imagine a turtle. And from here, Let's roll our shoulders forward, down, and back. And then reverse the direction. So maybe up, back, and down. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. And then begin to move your arms in ways you don't typically move. And so one of the sensations we want to experience in our yoga practice is a sense of rhythm. And we all have our own sense of rhythm. And so if you'd like, imagine your arms like seaweed at the bottom of the ocean. And the seaweed is making its way up towards the light. So stretch into the stretch, get bigger in space. We tend to shrink. So now we're getting into the deeper tissue, the connective tissue in our body. So you can big yawn if you want, reaching up to the light. And notice where your body's talking to you and breathe into that area. Sending our pranayama, our breath, part of our life force in that area. And those areas where maybe we can't feel so much, all the more reason to send our breath there. And just finish up wherever your body's still talking to you. And as you're ready, coming back to stillness. Relax your arms by your side. 
and then rest your hands on your thighs or knees, palm up or down as desired. And notice any subtle sensations. How's your breath? Our old friend, our breath. And so moving on, let's gently you know, bend our spine or so moving from side to side, gently sway. Come on back to stillness. And wherever you are in your breath cycle, take an inhale through your nose unless you're congested or you have an obstruction. And then on your exhale, see if you can draw your sits bones towards each other. And release. Did you feel a subtle shift in your energy, in your body? So it might be that you felt a little lift in your sternum. So subtle, might only be apparent to you. And so when you're ready, palms face up. So an inhale, reaching up to the sky. So as we inhale, things expand. Maybe noticing that things expand on exhale, things contract. On face down, looking down, honoring Mother Earth. And on inhale, palms face up, reaching up to the sky. And palms face down. On inhale, reaching your arms up to the sky. So maybe feeling the lightness as we inhale. And on exhale, a grounding sensation. Release your arms by your side, turn your palms face up. On inhale, reach your arms up so that they're parallel with your shoulders. If this feels like it's too much, back up. So I always like to think of moving towards our 100% and backing off to 80. So whatever your warrior pose, if you'd like, warrior arms are today. Find a space straight ahead or that you can gaze on something. And broad through the collarbones, extend beyond your wrists or fingertips. Roll your Thumbs down towards the earth and notice which feels better. Palms face up or palms face down. And then on your next inhale, reach up into mountain pose. Take a look between your palms if it doesn't create tension in your neck and notice if they're facing each other. Hold your fingers in or maybe placing your hands on the back of your head. And today, or this time, at this time, we can shout out, we are. So we are, we can, and we will, and we have. <laughs> That's what my 90-year-olds say, and we have. <laughs> we'll shake out. Woohoo! And so wherever you are, make sure that you're seated comfortably, effortlessly upright. If you are blessed with a yoga buddy that you can guide the movements, not do the movements, the work for you, for us, but guide. Love them. So this next practice particularly can be fun to do with a partner. And so bring what I consider the most beautiful part of our body, our hands, together. 
rub them vigorously. So our hands are connected not only to our heart, but to our mind as well. And then I'd like you to take them up to your eyes and cup your eyes slightly. So not putting pressure directly on your eyeballs. And then sweep your face, giving your face a little face yoga. And then reaching your hands up and shampoo your hair. So you can imagine that I'm shampooing your hair. And then bring your fingertips to the back of your neck. So again, if you have a yoga buddy and you're comfortable with doing this practice, they're moving into called body tapping together. It can be lovely. <coughs> Pardon me. Bring your fingertips up to the crown of your head and tap. And so I used to do this practice a lot when I worked afternoon shifts. In the morning, I'd get up and I'd say, you're welcome to join me in this wake up brain. Wake up brain. I have one student who says, almost inevitably, where are you brain? <laughs> and then smooth your hair out. And then come to the tops of your ears and then twiggle from the tops of your ears down to your ear lobes. When you get to your earlobes, tug a few times. And so this is a lovely practice if you tend to get headaches. And so lots of acupressure points along your ears. I'm just practicing that a few times. And release. And then bringing your fingertips to your upper chest and tapping. I have to remember where my microphone is. So tapping in this area can be calming for our nervous system. So it's one of the tools that I had in my toolbox for many years. They're not tools, toys in my yoga toy box. So a thymus gland in this area. And then leaning back in your chair, if you'd like, bring your hands to your Buddha belly and massage your organs. A soft Buddha belly. A soft belly gets a bad rap in our culture for some reason. So many folks are obsessed with whatever an eight pack is. I'm not sure. <laughs> or six pack. So in reality, when our belly is soft, it's an indication that our nervous system is more balanced. And then when you're ready, coming forward a little bit, if you can, you can jump on the hip. And the lower back and the side. Remember your little half smile, your Buddha smile. So smile, whether you're happy or not. And then pushing down with one hand if you like. Sweep your hands forward on inhale, let. Exhale. Inhale, left. Exhale. And so now let's continue a few more. Um, more self massage. So sweep your hands across your thighs. Maybe you can reach your knees. If you're feeling stable in your chair, you might reach down a little further along your shins. If you can reach your feet, go for it. If you can press underneath your toes, just below your toes in the middle. There's a sensitive point there too. Come on back up when you're ready. And then one more time. So being careful, of course, if you have osteoarthritis, osteopenia, the spinal movements coming forward, actually. 20%, I think, is safe for most. 
but do not take my word for it in the best of me. So I will guide you as best I can. However, you are the experts on your advice. And then when you're ready, rest your hands on your thighs, palm up, or maybe bring them up a little higher, facing each other. Close your eyes softly if that feels comfortable for you or soften your gaze. And notice any subtle sensations. Bringing your hands, maybe moving them a little further apart. Be noticing that as we inhale, things expand. On exhale, things contract. So you might notice that your belly naturally contracts and towards your spine a little bit. Moving our hands closer together. Inhale, expand. And then Release your arms by your side, turn your palms face up, soft, bending your elbows, nothing rigid. Reaching your arms up to the sky. So arms in gold pose or goddess if you like, and maybe reaching up a little higher. Take a look between your palms. If it doesn't pay attention to your neck, then you turn your gaze on the horizon. And ground to your feet, center and ground to the soles of your feet. Sit bones are sharp on the chair. And slowly come out of the pose. A little shake. So always giving ourselves permission to move slowly between our poses and our movements. So I notice that often when I get tripped up, it's when I'm forgetting to breathe and I'm moving too quickly. So I'm gonna check the time. So moving on, let's re-pose. So it might be that you walk, do a little bum dance, walk your bottom forward in the chair and then back, maybe shifting your weight from side to side. Root down through your feet, center and ground through the soles of your feet. So we want to keep our connection with mother nature we tend to start losing it. Roll your shoulders up, back and down just a few times. Tuck your chin in slightly to release the back of your neck. And then from here, I'd like to come into a movement called finding our balance. And so the best ever definition of balance that I've come across is by Matthew Sanford, one of the fellows that I trained with, who is, I think he's a para, paraplegic. And that said, in his teacher training, he said, his description of balance was the equal distribution of presence throughout our entire body. Presence, the equal distribution of presence throughout our entire body. And so an invitation to maybe make soft fists at your hip creases or drawing your hands in towards your hip creases. And so we are going to be uh, coming into the cord bend. So gentle reminder, if you have bulging discs, osteopenia, etc., you know who you are. An invitation really today to visualize the movement. Feel as though that you're doing it. And so otherwise, hinging from the hips, come forward with a flat back. And 
and then rock back up. So an invitation to keep this gentle movement flowing in your own time and rhythm for a few more breaths, as long as feels comfortable. And so it's not about seeing how far we can go. Just want to come to that just right amount of effort. raining seated. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing where all of you are. I hope it's lovely. I feel like there's a windstorm happening here on the Sunshine Coast. And then slowly make yourself back, way back to a comfortable seated position. Release your arms by your side. Belly is soft, breath is quiet. And then when you're ready, let's come into this gentle movement from side to side again. And closing your eyes softly if that feels comfortable for you or soften your gaze. And then come on back to center. Take a moment, and then when you're ready, take hold of the underside of your chair, and then reach your opposite arm up to the sky. So extend beyond your wrist, your fingertips, and then if it's okay for your neck, bring your gaze looking over your opposite shoulder. Slowly bring your head back center, slow your arm down. Release both arms by your side, take a moment. And we'll begin the practice on the other side. So you take hold of the side of the chair, if you like, or keep your hand resting on your thigh. Reach your opposite arm up to the sky, so extend beyond your wrist, your fingertips. So looking straight ahead or maybe turning your gaze, looking over your opposite shoulder. Slowly float your arm down. Head comes back to the midline. Release both arms down by your side. And so repeat the movement one more time on each side. Reach your arm up to the sky. Turn your gaze, if you'd like, looking over your opposite shoulder. Slowly bring your head back center. Float your arm down. So other side, reaching up. Turn your gaze, if you'd like, looking over your opposite shoulder. Let's meet back and center. Float your arm down. Release both arms by your side and shake up. And take a moment to notice how that movement makes you feel. It is not about what we look like in our yoga practice. The diagnostic tool is how do I feel? No judgment, checking in, how do I feel? So moving on, let's come into a seated twist. And so for this version, I'd like to invite you, if it's possible, to bring your feet a little wider than outer hip bone distance. It's okay to have your toes turned out a little. 
crazy. <laughs> your hands together, if possible, at your heart center. And then as you're ready, reach your elbow point. So whichever side, well, let's whatever side you'd like. So we tend to go to the side that's least tight first. Lift your opposite elbow up towards the sky. If it doesn't create tension in your neck, look up past your elbow. So press into the palms of your hand. And slowly we'll meet back to center. And sitting up tall, let's come into the movement on the other side, the pose. Draw your elbow point down to your thigh. Lift your opposite elbow up towards the sky and then gazing up. If that doesn't create tension in your neck, otherwise maybe gazing on the horizon. And slowly, let's come back to a neutral spine. Release your arms by your side. Walk your feet back so that your knees are in line with your ankles. So approximately hip distance of and release your arms by your side. And then let your hands rest, palms face up or down on your lap and let your breath settle. Soft through the belly, quiet breath. I think we will um, practice one more breathing exercise by coming seated comfortably back in your chair before we move into a guided meditation and your final relaxation. And so if you're comfortable removing your glasses, go for it, set them aside. If you have a super duper chair and you want to recline in your chair, feel free, and whatever feels comfortable for you. Often I do my yoga practice in the morning on the side of my bed, so seated. Yoga meets us where we are. Roll your shoulders up, back and down just a few times. Place, if it's comfortable for you, I know this doesn't work for everyone, a little bit of weight, a pillow, a blanket, whatever on our thighs can encourage a grounding sensation. And then an invitation to tuck your chin in slightly to release the back of our neck. And to bring a gentle awareness to your breath without changing anything. So maybe noticing that as we breathe in, things expand. On exhale, things contract. Breathing in and out through your nose if that feels comfortable for you. If you're congested or you have an obstruction, breathe in whatever way you can. So notice, is your breath long? Is it smooth or is it jagged? And breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Did that earlier. And 
it might be that you're breathing in and out through your mouth. And now an invitation to bring your hands to your belly, your Buddha belly. And begin to deepen your inhale and lengthen your exhale. When we lengthen our exhale, it is calming for our nervous system. See if you can begin to smooth out your breath so that your inhales and your exhales are about the same duration and quality. At any point, if you notice that your mind gets distracted and wants to wander off, know that that's okay. That is the nature of our mind. Simply bring your awareness back to your breath. And now see if you can add a quality of softness to your breath. So you might imagine that you're petting your fur kids. Maybe that you just tasted something delicious. See if you can bring that same softness to areas of your body that you're feeling too tight or knotted. Our breath is long and smooth and soft as we breathe in and as we breathe out. And just for a few more breaths, as long as feels comfortable keeping this simple breathing exercise going. Like to add a gentle swaying movement to your breath that can be calming for your nervous system. And when you notice that your mind gets distracted and wants to wander off. Maybe explore bringing a gentle awareness to the sounds around you. So I just heard the sound of the rooster in my neighbor's yard. You can certainly hear the sound of the wind blowing through the trees and leaves. And maybe noticing the gentle tone of my voice. And then in a loving way, bring your awareness back to your breath. Our old friend, our breath. And so come into a uh, comfortable seated position. Again, you're probably mostly comfortable now, I hope. Um, but you know, just get what you need to feel comfortable. So we're going to start cooling down. You might need a blanket, a pillow, sweater, whatever you need. And I think I'm going to drop my little jacket a bit. And so I'd like to explore a hand gesture with you. So for the meditation, the hand gestures were created to help us focus our mind. And so the one I'd like to explore with you today is if it's possible, bring all your fingertips so that they're pressing into your thumbs. And then when you're ready, rest your hands on your lap. 
draw your hands in towards your hip creases. And then one. Thanks, Kim. I just got a little note. She's on her way. So if you need to leave the space, go for it. Um, extend your fingers one by one. Stretch them out, keeping your index fingers pressing into your thumbs. So palms can be face up or down as desired. Look down and into your heart. See what you can see. And then imagine breathing into your heart. Wild Wooly back here. So I think I'm going to um, maybe end the practice soon because I don't want to get whacked by a, a tree branch. <laughs> um, and so shoulders up, back and down. We'll shake out again. Place one hand on your heart center, the other on your Buddha belly. And notice how it feels to have your hands in this placement. And then breathe in between your hands. Reach one hand across your armpit, the other to your shoulder. Drop your chin towards your chest. And this is an I love me bear hug. Give yourself a hug. And then notice which place where your hands felt the best and place your hands in that area. And know that this place is always available to you. So the teacher me honors and appreciates the teacher and each of you. You bring the intention you set at the beginning of the practice back to mind. Notice how you feel before and after your yoga practice. So thank you to Emily for being my lovely tech host today. Connectra and the Disability Foundation for providing this opportunity for us to share a yoga class together. And so I'm happy to stick around for a few minutes. Um, if you have questions or feedback, so feel free to put a little note in the chat if you'd like. I'm getting a little more tech savvy, so um, and just thumbs up, whatever. If you wanna take yourself off mute, that's cool, or I think Emily can do that for you. Thanks, Bobby. You're welcome. I just wanted to say thanks, Bobby. I was a little bit late today. So, sorry about that. Awesome. Yeah, so whenever you walk and roll in is, is wonderful. Thank you. Of, we'll see you on Friday. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Bobby. Hope you don't get blown away today. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a good day for my wind harp. Yeah. Your microphone was affected by the wind. With Sometimes it was, it was difficult to hear you. Oh, good feedback. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for letting me know. I think maybe because it's covered by my jacket. I don't know why. Yeah. But you can hear the wind in it. Yeah. So it's, oh, so it's not. Right? Yeah. Yikes. Okay, good to know. I'll be, I always revisit. I look at the recording. So mm, okay. give, thanks for giving me the heads up. I'll probably totally cringe when I see it. But. Uh -huh. <laughs> It was so extremely, extremely pleasant. Oh, good stuff. Thanks, Bobby. Have a good day. Hey. Have a good Somebody one. from Fort Nelson. Hey, Bobby, Thanks. I was going to tell you, I just wanted to say today with your movements. Yeah. Um, my physiotherapy therapist swore right. to me when I met him last year, Tai Chi. Those movements that you had us doing. Right. Um, 
reminded me of the Tai Chi he had me doing and the breathing. Um, just wanted to mention that it, mm -hmm. it reminded me of Tai Chi and it felt amazing. Oh, how lovely. Cool. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Thank you. Yay. This, this I, did my, I guess I did my job. Yeah, Christy, it's, did you did you tell Bobby you're all the way from uh, basically Alaska? What? Yeah, I'm in the top right corner of British Columbia, five hour drive, and I'm in the Yukon. Oh my goodness! I'll have to look at the map. <laughs> That's so wonderful. And thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're we're fast becoming a global community. Yes. Keep hitting it. That Tai Chi today. That's what I felt. That was amazing. Yeah. Thank you. That was physio right there. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. That was lovely. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah i didn't i didn't expect it to get uh, as windy as it did yeah it's windy in the city today too it is eh? mm -hmm. well you take care thanks a bunch yeah